Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to run one of the most popular object detection algorithms, YOLO version 3. The method we will use is one of the easiest ones as it does not require any external installations. We will write the code from scratch and go step by step with detailed explanation. I upload videos on a weekly basis so don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the upcoming content. So let's get started. So YOLO has gained a lot of popularity over the years and the reason for that is that it is a real-time detection method. This means that not only we will be able to classify an object but we can also locate it and extract the bounding box that encloses the object. And of course we can detect multiple objects at the same time. So there are multiple methods to run YOLO 3 and the one we will be using is basically one of the easiest methods since it does not require any external installations. We just need OpenCV and NumPy. So that is the first thing that we will be doing. So we will go to our PyCharm project, we will click file, we'll go to settings and over here we are going to import OpenCV. OpenCV Python and you will click install and then again you will go to NumPy and you will click install. So I have already done that. As you can see I have NumPy and OpenCV. So then we are going to import them. So we will write here import CV2 and then we will import NumPy as NP. Now the first thing we will do is we will create a while loop so that we can get the frames of our webcam. So to do that we will write here cap is equals to cv2.video capture. So we will put the index of 1 over here. Now this value of 1 I'm writing here because I have two cameras connected to my PC and if you have a laptop which does not have uh, any other webcam connected you should put it zero or if you have just one webcam connected you should put zero as well so most cases you should put zero but since i have multiple cameras i'm putting one okay so then we are going to write while true and over here we will write success and image is equals to cap dot read this will give us our image and it will tell us whether it was successful to retrieve or not and then we can simply write cv2 dot im show and over here we can write here for example image as the window name and then we can write image as the image that we want to display and the last thing we need is the cv2 dot wait key because we want to delay it and we will delay it for let's say one millisecond so let's run this so I will right click here and I will run this and I did not get anything let me turn on my camera again so let's run this again and there you go so now we have the webcam feed and you can see that we have a car that we want to detect so the next step is basically to load the YOLO 3 model. Now since it was trained on the COCO datasets, we will first collect the names of our classes and uh, we can simply do this by writing a list of all the names of the classes. So we can for example say here classes and then we can write the names of each class. Now the thing is that we have 80 different classes and writing them all manually will take a long time. So what we can do is we can use the COCO names file to actually extract all these names. So let's drag it in. So this file, you can find it on my website. So we can simply drag it in and it will place it direct in our main directory. So if we double click this, you can see that we have all the names of our classes starting from person right up to 
toothbrush and you can see that we have 80 different classes and you can see we have many different types of objects like food cake orange we have uh, cutleries like knife fork and then we have uh, even animals sheep horse cat so we have a little bit of everything uh, well not everything well most common objects so then we will go back and what we will do is we will import all these names and we will store it in our list now this list we will call it class names and this will be an empty list and the path we will define for our coco names will be classes file is equals to coco names coco dot names and this is basically a text file so now we are going to open this text file and we will extract all the information so we will write here with open and then we are going to write classes file and then we will write uh, that we are going to read it and this is a text file and then we will say that as f and over here we are going to write classes uh, no class names is equals to f dot read and then we are going to write dot r strip and then we are going to write new line and then again dot split and again new line so all this does is it extracts all the information based on uh, new lines and what we can do is we can print it out to see if we are if we have collected it properly so class names and we can run this and if we open this up and you can see here that we have person bicycle car motorcycle and all the way up to toothbrush so one more thing we can do we can write here print and we can write here length of uh, class names and we can rerun this and there you go so now we can see that we have 80 different names and all of them are stored in our class names so here are the names of all the classes in case you are wondering uh, you can save this as an image uh, so that you can find different objects so the next step is basically uh, importing the model files and uh, what we have is we have two main components one of them is the architecture of uh, the network and then the other one is the weights sometimes both of them are uh, combined in one file like in the tensorflow save model method but in this case we have them as separate so we are going to find our configuration file that has the architecture details and then we are going to find the weights file that has all the uh, trained weights inside of it so to do that we can go to the YOLO website here you can see that we have all different types of uh, weights and configurations so here you can see that YOLO version 3 320 now 320 just means this is the size of the image so it's 320 by 320 then we have 416 uh, then we have 608 then we also have tiny now as you can see that if you are using a lower resolution your frame rate will be faster now if you are using 416 you will get 35 and if you are using 608 you are going to get 20 frames per second and uh, if we use tiny then we will get uh, a very fast speed of 220 but that will come with the trade-off uh, between accuracy so our accuracy will uh, decrease a lot we will have much less detections but our speed will be much higher so something like raspberry pi or uh, jetson nano can use yolo tiny version now uh, what we have to do is we can just click these and download them and uh, what we will do is we will use the 320 and we will also use the tiny 320 we will use for general purpose 
to uh, run uh, throughout our tutorial and the tiny we are going to use at the end to see how fast we can detect and uh, what are the frame rates that we can get. So once uh, the weights and the configuration file is downloaded, we can just drag them in. So here we have uh, the configuration files of tiny and 320 as I mentioned before. So I will drag them all in and there you go. So we have the two files for 320 and the two files for tiny. So if we just open up the configuration file, uh, what we see here is basically the architecture and the parameters. So for example, you can see here we have the learning rate, then we have the maximum batches, steps, and all these parameters that are required to run our network. And then we, we can see the individual convolutional layers and we can see their parameters as well. For example, the number of filters and uh, then we have the stride, the pads, even the activation functions. So you can see all of these over here. So this is it for today's video. In the next part, we are going to load in our configuration and weights file. And after loading them in, we are going to run a forward pass on our uh, network using our webcam image. And once we have that, it will output us the bounding boxes. And then we can draw them out and see which objects did we find. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.